Alrighty. What's up, friends? I don't know why I clapped like that, but uh, <laughs> anyways. All right, what's up, friends? It's Harrison here, and welcome back to my channel. So, I know I deviated from my fashion plan a little bit, but we're getting back into it. So, recently I posted a video that was for suiting tips for small trans men or smaller men because finding stuff off the rack is extremely difficult and honestly extremely disappointing. But after I posted that, I had a lot of people asking me about dress shoes and masculine dress shoes to go with their suits or masculine dress shoes just to wear out. So I thought a great video would be on masculine dress shoes and what I find works for me. So I am extremely small. <laughs> I am 5'4", 120 pounds, and my shoe size is a men's 5 and a half. There's no way I'm gonna fit into a men's shoe size because the majority of the ones that are sold in stores usually cap off at about seven. Uh, so yeah, five and a half, seven, I can't really, I guess if I like shoved like tissue paper in the back of my heel then maybe I could wear them, but it just makes me feel dysphoric, honestly, because I can't fit into the style of shoes that I want. So I used to go into the women's section, sometimes I still do, um, to find masculine dress shoes because more and more brands are going more androgynous, but shopping in the women's section just leaves me feeling dysphoric as well because I would much rather be shopping in the men's section because I am a man. And yeah, so I know I shouldn't let that get to me, but it does, and I needed to find something that would alleviate that stress of finding shoes. So I did my research to find stuff online. So I literally Googled like masculine dress shoes, for small feet and Tomboy Toes was the first brand that came up. But yeah, so once I was able to peruse their website after I found them online, I went to their catalog, I looked at the shoes that they offered and they were amazing. Very simple, everything that I wanted, just like a simple strong black dress shoe or a simple strong brown dress shoe. And they have some colorful options too if you're looking to expand your wardrobe a bit and kind of step out of your comfort zone. So yeah, I immediately was like, I want to work with this company. So I reached out to them through an email and told them about myself and talked about my problems and said I would love to do a review on you guys and I would love to try out your brand so that I could help some of my followers because I get fashion um, advice questions a lot and I thought that this would be extremely helpful. So yeah, they were on board right away. They were like, yeah, which shoes do you like? We'd love to send you some of the pairs so you can try them. Um, so a huge thank you to Tomboy Toast for being so accommodating to me and for listening to my needs as a small trans man and for providing services to people that usually are overlooked. So I really do appreciate the work that Tom Boytels is doing and I do thank you so much for including me in this video and for being so generous. So I want to talk about my experience with the shoes. So the first shoe that I got, I really needed a brown dress shoe. So I got the Commanders in coffee brown. So as I said before, I'm a size five and a half men's and these are a size 35. So I initially tried the 36, but they were a little bit too big on me. So they sent me a new pair with the right size and this is the perfect size for me. So these are awesome. Like these are great and they fit me well. And every, and when I look down at my feet, I'm not thinking about, Oh, I'm wearing a woman's shoe. Oh, I'm wearing a kid's shoe. No, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my shoe and it makes me feel pretty empowered. So they come in sizes that are unisex. So that's why I talked about like the 36 and 35. I think it's like a European thing or maybe something like that, but they, they, they go into those sizes so that you don't have to distinguish between men and women. So I'm a size five and a half men's. I fit into a size six and a half, seven women's. So 35 is the shoe size for me. And I wore these out um, to a panel, to a professional event. I wore them with dark jeans, I wore them with a blazer, and it felt so good to be able to wear shoes that actually fit me and actually look good. The, the quality is, is great. Um, it's great for the value of these shoes because these shoes, believe it or not, are like $60, $70. Hi, so I'm editing this and I realized that I got the price wrong on the wingtip commanders. So the wingtip commanders are 98. Uh, the shoes that I was alluding to that I say, oh, it's really affordable, 60 to $70 are actually the downtown dappers. So I apologize for that. So every time you hear me say 68, it's actually 98, but you can get shoes that are $60 and those are the downtown dappers, which are also equally cool. Really cool stitching. I'll get some more close up 
um, on that as well. But yeah, they have some really cool stitching. They have some, it's not, it's not like painted on, like it's actual, it's actually like punctured into the leather. Um, this nice brogue going on and then there's some texture here. Um, it's a little bit darker here and like a little bit lighter here, um, which I think is a really nice contrast. So yeah, I really do enjoy these shoes and if you're looking for a way to up your game in your, your shoe game, um, these come in black and these come in brown. So I really I might invest in the black pair as well because I really do, really do love these. The next style that I want to show you is something that I wouldn't necessarily have thought to purchase these. They caught my eye definitely because they're so unique, but sometimes I get a little conservative in my dress and I don't like to stray out of my normal comfort zone. But when they said that they wanted to send me the Falconers, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I would love to try them. They be, they look, they look cool. Like they're, they're a retro, retro looking shoe um, with a modern twist. So these are the Falconers and these come in three different colors that I'm going to show you. So I did a nice little photo shoot with the Falconers. So I'm going to post those pictures right now. These are the Falconers in Kestrel Tan. These are sweet, these are great for the summer, I love them. Uh, the quality, it's not its not the rubber sole, it's more of a, you'd see this sole on a more designer shoe, so it's like a little bit rubbery on the bottom, um, but it's more wood, which I think is a really, really nice classic, classic look. When I saw these, I was trying to think of what outfits I would wear, and I immediately was like, Gatsby. So I did uh, I did a little bit of research online for Gatsby-esque outfits. So yeah, these are sweet. And uh, these ones I think are my personal favorite. So these are Peregrine Brown. So these ones, these ones are great. These ones go with really a, a lot because you have the black and you have the brown. So really nothing is off limits because it's already been covered. But yeah, these are, these are really, really great. These are definitely Gatsby-esque Gatsby as well. Um, and then these ones are a little bit more classic if you're a little bit more like, oh, I don't think I can, I don't think I can rock these. These ones do come in a more conservative color. So these ones are black, but they have a little splash of, of gray or silver here, which I think is really nice. And then it comes with the texture, texturized sides as well, which I think adds just a little bit of uniqueness. You know, anybody can get a black shoe, but these just up your game. And I would be like, whoa that guy or that girl or that person over there, they've got some swag. So that's what I would say. I'd say that these have got like some swagger. Um, definitely different, definitely cool. These ones are a little bit more expensive than the Commanders. Um, these ones go for about $128 each, which obviously isn't cheap, but it is cheaper than most shoes out there, I would say. But yeah, so those are the shoes that they sent me. They have a lot more options as well online, so I'm gonna link their website down below, so if you wanna check that out, go ahead. Um, they've got some really cool options. They've got like black shoes, they've got brown shoes, they've got some boot style that are a little bit higher than this, like they would go about here, which I would say is about an ankle. They have like blue shoes. Uh, it's cool, yeah, give it, give it a go. Um, I had, that company really did catch my eye and I really do appreciate what they're doing again. This is my review on small shoes. There definitely are brands out there that do cater to smaller shoes as well and I'll explore those a little bit more but I just wanted to keep this strictly on tomboy toes because they have a lot of options that I think will cover a lot of different demographics as well and the price point is amazing. Very affordable, really great quality. I will definitely be wearing these a lot to my professional functions, my speeches and just going out for a nice dinner and also I'll be definitely rocking these when I'm feeling a little bit more like spicy, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any more suggestions for some videos, like I did the suits, I did the dress shoes, if you have any more clothing tips that you would like to hear or something that you have a hard time finding, put it in the comments and I will do my best to do a video on it next time. Uh, but anyways, so I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Take care. Hi. It's me again. Sorry, I forgot to mention that they give you a tin of shoe polish in every box that you get, and that is really cool. Okay, thanks. Bye.